Hi everyone, uh, what I want to show you here today is just a really quick method for uh, situations where you have the Pythagorean theorem and uh, where you need the Pythagorean theorem and the reason why you need it is you're given two sides of a right triangle and you're supposed to find the third side. So if we look to the left here, um, the quick method to find the hypotenuse, let's say you're given uh, this 8 right here and this 6. These two sides here are called legs the long side here, this is the longest side, it's always across from or opposite from the 90 degrees, it's called the hypotenuse. Okay, so we have the 8 and we have the 6, and what we do is we have to square the 8, so 8 squared, which you can see right here, then you have to add 6 squared, so it's 64 plus 36, and you get 100, and if you take your calculator and find the square root of that, you get 10. Okay, so how can you memorize this? Well, you're squaring these two sides and you're adding them to get the long side. So if you have two shorter sides and you need the long side, it makes sense to add them, right? Okay, so remember that. You add the two shorter sides and square them to get the long side, and then just take the square root. Then you got your side. There's the hypotenuse right there. We have it being 10. Okay, um, over here, if you know the hypotenuse, so they gave us a 9 here, they gave us the longest side, they gave us one leg, but they did not give us this other side here. Now, you can probably tell that you would not want to take the square of this and the square of the 7 and then add them up to get this side, because when you add two things, you get a bigger number. This, this side here cannot be bigger than the hypotenuse. So the quick method is, take the square of your hypotenuse, and instead of adding, subtract this side, and then square it, of course. So this side squared minus this side squared. So that'd be 81 minus 49, and you're going to get 32. And just like in the other question, once you get your answer, take the square root of that answer on your calculator, and you come up with the side you're looking for. In this case, it's 5.7. So I don't know. You can always push pause and look at this and see if it works for you, okay? It's a quick method. There's not much algebra needed here. Just your calculator and some quick thinking. Okay, good luck.